Well, as we heard just a few moments ago, takeout coffee cups may be shedding trillions of plastic nanoparticles. And joining us this morning to talk a little bit about what this means for our health is the Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike, this is a little alarming. <laughs> Uh, you know what, Leslie? Uh, I, I drink a lot of coffee all day long. <laughs> and the bottom line is that maybe plastics in my brain or something is causing what you're interacting with right now. I don't know. <laughs> but the bottom line is, is, that, is that these plastics, these nanoparticles, trillions, not billions, not millions, but trillions, are getting into our hot coffee when we put it in a paper cup. Why? Because there's this very thin plastic layer so that the, the water doesn't seep out of the cup. Now, that goes into our body. They are so small, they're nanoparticles. They get into the bloodstream and they get into cellular structures. Now, what that means, we don't know, but let's use some other examples of things that get in there, like particulate matter from diesel fuel. So you live near a highway and there are diesel trucks driving by and you breathe in the nanoparticles. That's been shown to cause damage to arteries and uh, have cardiovascular problems. How about asbestos? Inert object, but because it gets into the lungs, it causes problems. So no one really knows yet what this does, but it may probably affect cellular performance in the body. Time will tell. And it's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. Yeah, so it sounds like it, as long as we are alive, we've got some of these particles in <clears throat> our bodies. So, Dr. Mike, what was interesting to me, and, and perhaps they're just saying coffee, but does this also apply? You know, I'm not a coffee drinker, mainly because I, I have an extreme sensitivity, almost allergy to the caffeine. So I have tea, herbal tea. Would that also count? And then what are, I think it goes without saying, but use reusable cups instead of paper cups. Would that help? Well, yeah, yeah. You use glass, all right, ceramics, uh, and not plastic. But but there are plastics in everything. Uh, uh, half of my body mass came from pizza when I was in college, and I had the saran. I mean, I mean, I had the uh, plastic wrap over it, and I melted half of it onto the pizza because I was young and dumb. The bottom line is, is that we get exposed everywhere. You put it in a microwave. Uh, you put it in a uh, a, a slow cooker, there, there's, there's a lot of places where you get exposed. So try to avoid heating things in plastics. That would be my advice. Use glass. Use uh, materials that don't degrade like that. Yeah. All right. Some great advice. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Mike. We appreciate it. <laughs> Well, I'll get you some decaf coffee, Leslie. There we go. There you uh, go. All right. I'll take a decaf. Thanks, Dr. Right. Mike. <laughs> we'll be right back.